Hi guys, I'm back with another productive video for this week and if you've not watched my videos before, welcome to my channel. Good morning guys. Oh, So, I had planned to wake up at 5 but right now it's 8 in the morning. And so right now, we're gonna make our smoothie and then get cracking on with the work, okay? That's some footage of the view I get from the balcony. Oh, hope I don't bore you guys with this because it kind of features in all my videos. Because this is how much I love this view. So this is how I create my smoothie packs. So it basically has my favorite banana, strawberries, grapes and spinach. And it's a sneaky way to sneak in your greens, you know, in your smoothie when you don't taste them. So yeah. And it makes life way easier. You don't have to cut them every day. Okay, so we'll put our fruits in first. Okay, a little bit of milk. And I just... And a little bit of yogurt as well. So we're using the bright cow Greek yogurt. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna add one scoop. I was finding for my blender cover all over the house, but it was right in front of my face. Are you ready? Okay, so this is what it looks like. But yeah, now we're gonna give our smoothie a try, okay? So this is how it looks like. I can taste a lot of the banana. It is nice. It is very creamy and smooth and not too sweet because we didn't add any sugar. And I think it's good. I think I nailed it. So it comes in this tiny little glass bottles. It's really, really cute. So this is the fun part. Did you hear that? It's like a pop sound. Okay. So this is how it looks like in the inside. Like just a fruit nectar sort of situation. Mmm sour but it's good it's sour and sweet so it basically has um, seven types of berries there's blackcurrant blueberry chokeberry cranberry elderberry strawberries acai berries which are apparently selected from europe and america and it is rich in vitamin a c e and zinc so yeah it's Supposed to be really good for the eyes and the skin. So I've made a plan for today and this is what we're going to be studying. So I'm going to be practicing Mosler with two of my friends. And then it's going to be uh, reviewing my PSA notes. Which I've made for my upcoming exams. And then practice 10 risky questions because risky is like this prescribing that is quite a hard exam to do in the time limit that they've given. And it's just like about more than one month away. So gotta get cracking on that as well. And I need to finish studying my cardiovascular conditions. So what is this one? There is a online class as well. Uh, it's supposed to be on PSA. So would be attending that. This is our lunch for today. It's going to be very simple to mantau bread. And this is a frozen one, so I did not defrost it, but uh, I just put it into the air fryer and then it just cooked through. 
so, but it needed a little bit longer so like about 10 minutes in uh, at 160 degrees okay so instead of frying it deep or steaming it i just air fried it so yeah this is going to be our lunch with our favorite tea as well so yep mm. so this how it looks like So doctor, I felt like I felt a lump at my right breast. Uh, I'm quite worried about it. I've never had anything as such before. Mm, it's very, very stressful when you realize that something you've studied three months ago and now you can't remember it. It's like, I only remember 50% of it and just... Uh, I like mental health, but it's just that there's so much of guidelines and there's so much of communication. Like, how am I supposed to ask what a psychiatrist asks in one hour, in 15 minutes, and be evaluated on it? But I guess it's part and parcel of studying medicine, right? Anybody out there who you chose medicine and it's hard as hell, or you chose something else and it's hard as hell. Just keep pushing on. Just keep pushing on. You can do this. When you believe in yourself, everything is possible. I'm, I'm, because it's almost like the end of January. You guys are having exams in less than like... The first few pages of that BNF and the last few pages of the BNF, they will like show off, we tell you. We are allowed to use when... So for dinner, we have our egg scramble with a bit of onion and I also added a bit of sambal blachan. If any of you guys don't know what sambal blachan is, basically like a shrimp paste. And this one is a bit more on the sweeter note. So it gives some kind of nice flavor to it. And this is my sweet potato that I just cooked in the air fryer with a bit of oil and salt. And this was a takeout chicken. I don't know what is the name of it, but it's a North Indian style chicken and it was really good. Can you guys see the sky? It's like so pretty. It is currently 7.35 and we're going to get back to studying after a quick bath. Okay, so... What I'm going to do is that basically I've set up this whole chunk that I showed you guys in the morning. And I think I've only gone through like two things from the list. I'm going to aim to finish it today. Okay. So, yep. Let's get studying. Hi guys, so there's been a slight change in plans. So I'm in Singapore at the moment at Tasnim's house and the lighting is like shit here. Lice. Why? What's happening? So this is automatic, right? Yeah. Right. 